sky and she does do you think god smiles at us from up there i can't wait to go there someday You, Miss Mommy, go there. Miss Mommy, look who's moving out. And you on that. Honey, I can't. My weight's going to crush it. I'm the director. You're supposed to not talk back. Honey, Elizabeth. I'm standing on it. And if I can, you can too. My weight is heavier than yours, sweetie. All you have to do is bleed. She's got a point there. Well, Pawn, other than a few stitches and a bruised ego, I think you're ready. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Pawn. <laughs> Daddy? Yes? I love you to the end of the sky. And I love you past the end of the sky. Um, Daddy? Yes? Um, Daddy? Yes? Um, kiss Mommy goodnight and tell her that you love her past the end of the sky. Daddy, everything will be okay. She's asleep. What's this? Juan, I'm really, really sorry. Ramon, no way. This is not how it's supposed to happen. I know, Juan. I mean, how do you think I feel? He just left me these envelopes and drove away. Oh, Ramon, guys have spent their lives around this company. You know his old man left them in charge and there went everything. And there goes life, right? Dad, I can't take this anymore. Can you tell me why these pants are not iron? I'm busy. Iron them yourself. I'll just do that. And more. Get, get over here. You need to work. Get clean this house home. Han, you have no right to tell me that. Ginger, I wish I could take it all back. I need more time. Just be strong, okay? I'm here if you need me. Just call me, okay? Hey, Pond. You gotta get out of here, man. You kicking me out, Jake? No. I'm just saying, you got better places to be. Easy. You think I got places to go? I don't know anymore. 
Hello? Yeah, this is Pan. Yeah? Oh, come on, son. You're a grown man. Go ahead, speak your mind. I can't do this anymore. I just can't. There for you when you were young. But your mom told me so many stories about you. And one in particular, she spoke it with pride. She said one day you were sent home from school for socking a kid. And she asked you, why'd you sock that boy? And you said, because he didn't believe in God. And she said that you stood up right over that boy and he was bleeding from his nose. You pointed up to the sky and you said, see that blue sky? That's his shirt. <laughs> I love that story. I guess what I'm saying, son, is if you can remember that man up there, you can remember this man. I love you to the end of the sky. I know you do. I love you too. Always have, always will. <laughs> Jay, will you do us the honors of releasing the first balloon? We'll see Elizabeth again beyond where the sky ends. These balloons today represent our dear loved ones who, although innocent, live bravely, standing fast and fighting the good fight, keeping their faith no matter how ours faltered. Their fleeting life became as fixed and solid as this memorial symbol, imparting upon us a new truth, that we are stronger because of them, yet remain weak in spite of ourselves. And ever so often, we will look to them to make it through the next storm.